Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your quick reading for you. We've got the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> so something that you've been mulling over and over and over again is about to leave your mind. You're about to put that burden down, receive answers, clarity, truth, something there. Let's start by rolling the Zodiac die and seeing what signs you're dealing with. You rolled Capricorn, Libra, whoop, whoop. Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, and Scorpio. And in case I didn't tell you, I'm going to do your quick reading for you. So I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, having some fun in life. <clears throat> We've got some weather here in uh, Gulf Coast, Florida. Woo! Storms for the last few days, off and on. Bre you know, sometimes it's been brief, like just a quick uh, thing. But the other night, it was hours. In fact, it was overnight. And those were some really nasty storms. Today, there's possibility for them. It's overcast, it clears, it's overcast, it clears. So I hope you're safe and sound wherever you are at. And that the weather is beautiful. Drop me a comment. Tell me where, where you're at and if you're doing well with the weather. Knight of Swords energy. Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. Victory! Three of Swords. Nine of Swords. You have double nines here. And we know that's all about releasing. You've got the Four of Wands. You've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Page of Swords. And finally, the Five of Swords. Okay, there is a lot happening here. Oh, look at this. The Eight of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. We saw that in the pre-shuffle. Are they together? Nope. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Something about work or working with somebody else. Yeah, it's about a boss for the most part. Um, having troubles. Something changed recently. You took a leap of faith. Something changed. Maybe you took a pr promotion. Maybe you are the boss. Yeah, you, you elevated. You took a new position at work. And you're a little stressed out over this. It's a, it's a little overwhelming. You're okay. You're going to be fine. Take a deep breath. It's really not the end of the world here, okay? Just just hang in there because you you will have success. I am hearing with this Knight of Swords that's over here that you're going to take action, certain things that you can do um, to proactively get you out of feeling um, insecure, defensive, like, ugh, I just don't want to go through another battle again, Okay. I feel that there may be somebody around you that wanted that promotion and they did not qualify for it. They did not qualify for it. They may have applied for it. They may have been told, you know, oh yeah, you've got some great skills, but they did not qualify for the position that you got. So there is a little bit of, uh, I'm going to get even with you or something like that. You know how people can be. People can be really, really low. Whatever it is, you're taking action to find a solution. So, you you know, to stand your ground and not let this person win. You're going to win with the Six of Wands here. I don't know if you can hear that siren or not, but I do apologize if you can. I've got a major route that way, about a mile and a half, two miles. And I've got another one going that way. Um, but usually it's not this noisy. All right, six of wands. So you do have success, okay? You take action. You stand your ground. You don't give in to this person. You don't give up. Now, I'm also hearing if this is not work-related, because for a few of you, this is a romantic relationship. You are going to overcome this heart pain, heartache, heartbreak, pain, suffering, but only... Only if you stand up to this person, if you stand your ground, don't back down. But I'm not talking about arguing with them either, okay? You have to solve this for yourself, the Knight of Swords. You have to think for yourself, and you have to be the one that's going to make the decisions. You're the one that's going to have to take the action to actively solve this situation. No matter what it is, you're successful here, okay? You do overcome this uh, disappointment, heartbreak, betrayal, whatever this person's doing to you, or even if this is not a particular person at work or in your romantic life, um, this is you overcoming your fears. 
here you are with the Three of Swords over the Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights. The result is the Four of Wands. Stability, happiness, achieving your goals. This is, you know, really good, happy energy here. This could be your home life too, your work life. Everything is feeling good. And it's because you focused on love here, on self-love, loving other people, seeing the divine in other people. For a couple of you, there is a new person coming in. But those people who are watching this and you're resonating with this portion, that new love is not for you. Okay, that's not a new person coming in for you. This is strictly a new person coming in, a new love, a new romance, a new soulmate. That's for the people that this whole message is not resonating at all for. All right, so... For those that the rest of this message is resonating for, you focused on yourself, you're focusing on how to be compatible with other people, how to see the divine in them, okay? And this may be something that you're learning. I, I do feel that this person is not going to be that easy to overcome. Like, they're going to be a headache for a while, okay? But you're doing your research, you're learning how to deal with this type of negative energy around you because you're, for the most part, you are a high vibe energy person, okay? You try to stay positive um, and being around people like this can really drain you and take you out of the vortex, okay? If you, if you don't understand the law of abundance, law of attraction, all of that, go check out Abraham Hicks or Esther Hicks, okay? Beautiful information there, really short videos that you can watch all over YouTube. So many people put out this information. It's ridiculous. Um, but it's good information, okay? So this may give you some sort of confirmation for yourself. All right, let's see what the outcome is. I do see you being successful with us. Oh, we got four cards here today. The Queen of Cups, emotional peace. You are wor you know working towards this actively with the Eight of Pentacles. It looks successful, okay? Your hard work will pay off. Six of Wands, you are moving into out of chaos, into a calmer environment. Oh, look at the miracles happening here. The Magician. You know what I'm hearing with the Magician card here is that you're pulling all your resources together. Not just counting on yourself to take care of the situation, but you're counting on other people, networking with other people to help overcome this. I'm getting that this person that you're working with is a very good worker. They've got a lot of talents. They've got a, little, a lot of skills, but they're not a people person. They think they are. They think that they are wonderful, but they're not, okay? Um, as far as being a wonderful as a people person, okay? Like they understand people. They, they really don't. So that's why they did not get put in the position. You did because you've got those skills, you've got those talents, and you are willing to find the solution here. And you know how to connect with the resources that you have available to you. So you do solve this situation here. You do move into a more peaceful solution. It is going to eventually end in a happiness for everyone. All right, let's get you an oracle mess. Actually, we're going to get you... A blessing oracle message, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And boy, I felt that with this Queen of Cups card here. I really did. Tapping in and tuning in spirit to your higher power. Spirit just had me grab another um, blessing. Someone new is entering your life. So that is for those who have this soulmate energy, new romantic partner coming in, new friend. All right, let's see what is happening here that you need to know about. Purse, pay attention to your finances. This definitely work, is around work, okay? This issue is around work. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. Do more research, just keep going, okay? Persevere, do not back down from this person. Just keep going, increase your efforts. Okay, one more message here. Spirit wants to give you, what is it? Oh, Dreamscape Oracle message today. Yes, 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 and yes. I keep hearing yes, yes, yes. This is actually a very good message because you do figure out how to overcome this negative situation. There it is. The gift. 
Let's see. Why can I never find these things? Okay, that was page 41, which is a five, so there's a change that's going to happen here. All right, let's see what the gift says. Smoke rises up behind her. Pandora sits in her chair, pondering what the jar contains. Was it a good idea to release the potent magic contained in such a small vessel? She does not know what will become of her gift just yet. Only time will tell what will happen to the world as the gift spreads out from the tarnished jar. Pandora wears a simple lavender robe showing her devotion to Zeus. It also shows the gift of wisdom and generosity that have been attributed to Pandora. The meaning of this card is be careful of stepping into situations that you may not be able to get out of. Retreat and gather your resources for complicated situations. All right, my lovelies, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness.